That one was serious. <laughs> Busy talking and he whacked me. That's the kind of fishing I like where you don't even have to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> I suck. <laughs> hey folks, today at Midwest Outdoors, we're out uh, on Lake of the Woods. We're fishing on a simple day. Today we got uh, Nick Panovich in the house with us and uh, one of his ice guys, Cole Stillday, chasing some walleyes and saugers out here on a beautiful February day in Lake of the Woods. Got that one too. Better fish? I think so. again. God. I'm thinking walleye on this one. Yeah. Got the old eel pot. <laughs> no. Oh, nice walleye. Got him. Good job there, young man. You were ruling the day. Get your picture taken with that one. Nice. Definitely got it figured out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See when you're fishing with a bunch of guys, everybody likes to use different colors. Pay attention, usually somebody's doing better than the rest. And it uh, doesn't take me long to switch, and it's, it's, it's wise. And you know, fish, uh, some days they want glows, some days they uh, want colds, but today it looks like they want green. There you go, Nick. That might be a little better. Not up to coal standard, but it's late in the game. Every fish is a good fish. It's a little better. Pretty good for me. <laughs> You're turning it on. Oh boy. Oh. We'll let him keep that one. If you didn't lose the rod. Not a bad one. I think we'll let him go, but he'd definitely be an eater back at the restaurant tonight. But come up, catching your limit a lot of times is not a problem, but you get to catch a lot of fish. And another one of the fun things to do here is uh, it's the home of the world famous igloo. Now you get people that come all over just to see that place, right? Oh, yes. Oh, that's well visited throughout the winter. Yep. Open six days a week, serve food, uh, soft drinks, liquor bar there oh, yeah. also. We've got heated biffies outside for those that need that facility and uh, open six days a week. Yep, even got holes in there to catch some fish. Yes. Jenny, she's, uh, she manages a place and she's caught some big northerns inside. Oh, yes. It's, yep. a, you know, it's a must stop when you're up here. And let that one go. There you go. Got that one under control? Yep, I can handle this one. That sound of the drag and the fight of the fish, that's what people come up here for. And Nick, you can accommodate small groups up to some very large groups. We got them uh, anyway. We got it. The same. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, we got regular one and two bedroom cabins. Yep. Completely winterized. All the amenities in them, bedding and full kitchens and all that good stuff. You know. Yep. For the smaller groups that like to come up, but then we have log cabins, uh, natural Norway pine log cabins. Yep. Beautiful. Three bedroom all the way up to six bedroom units. So for our smaller groups that will want to come and upgrade to a nicer cabin, that they're available. Yep. Our uh, larger log cabins got two kitchens in them, three bathrooms, fireplaces, all the amenities at three different levels. They're very comfortable, very relaxing. Great place to hang out after a fun day of fishing. Doubles. Yeah, this one's alright. It's like catching Cole's fish. 
He had working one over there and he saw this bobber go down and had to call me over. I beat Nick to it. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice soccer. Filling the bucket up. Good call. Yeah. A lot of nice saugers this year. 15 and a half, 15. Woo, I tell you what, folks, that was a great day of fishing. We got ourselves limits of walleyes and saugers. Had a bunch of fun. Bet we caught 50, 60 fish. Cole here, still Mr. Still Day. He was a big help on that. And of course, we want to thank Nick Painovich with Zippo Bay Resort. Folks, if you want to come up here and get in on some of this great winter fishing, all you got to do is look up zippobay.com. Remember, it's the home of the igloo. For uh, Cole Still Day, Nick Painovich, I'm Greg Jones. More Midwest Outdoors is coming right up. Let's go clean some fish, huh?